what is also important is decline curve analysis for production forecasting okay for production forecasting so this is the life cycle of our reservoir we start from the exploration the development and then we start producing first oil build up period and then plateau and from the end of plateau we start decline production decline in this time interval we can do decline curve analysis to forecast our production this is the main responsibility of reservoir engineer to forecast the production okay basically we can do exponential decline hyperbolic harmonic all right and the equation or the formula is quite simple so flow rate at any time is actually the initial flow rate divided by 1 plus b okay this is the term curvature term and di is initial decline rate across t throughout the time okay powered by 1 per b okay b is 0 for exponential decline and between 0 and between 1 for hyperbolic and equals to 1 for harmonic decline okay so this kind of analysis is really important because we need to forecast our production using those forecasts our friends in business analysis department or finance department or corporate planning uh, department will use those data okay this result this production forecast to calculate the revenue of our company okay how much revenue we can obtain okay and and also uh, how much how economics is our operation okay so this is a very very important input for those kind of analysis for those kind of calculation corporate level analysis decline curve analysis uh, most of the time it's really quite difficult actually to distinguish whether we have uh, exponential or hyperbolic or harmonic like this one maybe one engineer can say yeah it's easy it's exponential but another engineer maybe will say no friend it's a hyperbolic or maybe the other will say that it's actually it's quite obvious it's harmonic yeah this kind of condition we we find quite normally in daily life okay because we are handling something that we cannot see it's a reservoir a lot of uncertainties are uncertainties there that's why we usually accommodate all of those uh possibilities like this one so i just need to do plotting those three plots okay this one for uh, exponential this one for hyperbolic and this one for harmonic so rather than giving you just one profile i give you a range the lowest is exponential the highest is harmonic so we can safely say that using this analysis our remaining reserve is between 250 I mean, from 140 as the lowest to 250 as the highest estimation. Okay. And between that, we have, I mean, sorry, the harmonic is 295. And between them, I have 250 as our estimation, as our forecast for remaining reserve. All right. This remaining reserve is very, very, very important because if you have high reserve it means that you still have quote unquote a lot of money inside your reservoir right because reserve means oil oil means money okay oil means revenue for your company that's why you need to know about the reserve and as an engineer this is your main responsibility to know the reserve and to know the approach to obtain those reserves as much as possible okay but you can you do not know how you actually can uh, obtain as much uh, reserve as possible 
if you don't know your reserve on the first place. Okay, that's why you need to know, you need to calculate, you need to predict your reserve. And one of the easiest approach is to do decline curve analysis.